Every two seconds, an area of forest the size of a football field is illegally logged somewhere in the world. This means about 100,000 trees a minute. 1,600 million people around the world currently depend on forest resources. The World Bank estimates that annually, forest-producing countries lose 8,000 million euros in taxes due to illegal logging. Illegal logging for export contributes to deforestation and environmental degradation, loss of vital plants, animals and ecosystems. It is a booming business for the few, with disastrous social and environmental consequences for all. Tools to reduce illegal harvesting now exist in Europe, Australia and the USA. They have all developed new laws to combat illegal logging. These laws seek to restrict illegally harvested timber and timber products from accessing their markets. This means timber traders must now pay attention to the origin of timber and whether it was harvested legally. These laws also recognize that the legal harvest of timber must be defined according to the law in the country of harvest. Even where the supply chain for a timber product is long, where it moves through several hands, where the timber product is mixed or made into different products, or crosses several borders before entering one of these countries, these laws still apply, and the focus remains on the legality of harvest in the country of origin. The EU Timber Regulation EUTR, is the law that prohibits placing illegal timber and timber products on the market of the member states. The EUTR requires timber and timber product traders to assess the risk of illegal harvest using specific information. We can all contribute to this information. If you have information that indicates timber has been harvested illegally, it may be possible to use it to influence companies' buying patterns or to encourage European governments to enforce the timber regulation. You can have a role in the EUTR and this law can help you amplify the power of the information you hold. This will benefit all. How can you do it? As a witness of or someone with information about illegal logging, you may have detailed and specific information. It could be about the law in a country to show that the harvesting or export of a particular species is not allowed. Or information from public databases that shows a particular company has not paid its taxes. Or information from independent monitoring of logging, for example using photos, GPS data or witness statements that show the timber was harvested without permit or against the conditions of the permit. Information needs to be clear and credible, so making detailed records and finding ways to show that it is accurate is important. Generally, the more detailed and specific information is, the more useful it will be. You can then share it with both EU industry and EU public authorities, either on your own or working with NGOs. When industry knows this information, they will have to take it into account when making supply chain decisions. And when public authorities know this information, they will have to take it into account when enforcing the timber regulation. The introduction of these new laws is a first step towards taking responsibility for how timber is produced. However, the EU timber regulation can only succeed if we all get involved and become agents of change against illegal logging for export markets. These laws are frameworks. They cannot work on their own. To work in practice and really have an impact on logging, they need information about the reality of how timber harvesting should and does happen, which is where you can help and your information can have a positive impact. It is important that we all get involved in this process. If you want to know more about it, please contact us at ClientEarth, eutr at clientearth.org, www.clientearth.org.